Hello students, I Professor Sandeep Nayak. Would like to welcome you to the session on Food Additives. Today we will learn about Number 1. Food Preservatives The meaning of it. Its types, Class 1 and Class 2 Preservatives, their names and examples. Number 2. Coloring Agent. Its meaning, types natural and synthetic. Their name and common usage. Number 3. Dot dot flavoring agent and essences, its meaning, types natural and synthetic, its examples and usage. Number 4. Sweetening agents, its meaning, types natural and synthetic, its examples and usage. Number 5. Humectant, its meaning, examples, and usage. Number 6. Bleaching agent, its meaning, examples and its usage. Number 7. Thickening agents, its meaning, types, examples and its usage. Number 8. Anti-caking agents, its meaning, examples and its usage. Number 9. Sequestrant its meaning and usage. Number 10. Nutritive supplement, its meaning, usage and examples. Technical definition of food additives. In addition to the natural composition of foodstuffs, substances that may be incorporated, either directly or indirectly, during the growing, storage or processing of foods and which are introduced purposely to aid in processing or to preserve or improve the quality of the product can be termed as food additives. Food additives can also be defined as any substance that on intended use result or may responsibly be expected to result directly or indirectly in its becoming a component or otherwise affecting the character of any food. This includes direct food additives that are added to a food for a specific purpose in the food. For example, xanthan gum, used in salad dressings, chocolate milk, bakery fillings, puddings etc. However it must be safe and useful, any substance that become the part of the food and trace amount due to its packaging, storage or other handling is referred as indirect additives. The National Research Council defines food additives as a substance or a mixture of substance other than a basic foodstuff which is present in the food as a result of an aspect of production processing, storage or packaging. Characteristics of food additives 1. Food additives are typically used in extremely small quantities Their contribution to the total cost of the food to which they are added is extremely small. 2. They add to the variety, convenience, safety and taste of our food and ensure food availability all year round. 3. They are not normally consumed as a food by itself and not normally used as a typical ingredient of the food. Additives lend functional properties to various kinds of foods and are normally categorized into four classes or groups according to the effects it has on. 1. Physical characteristics, for example texture. 2. Sensory characteristics, for example taste smell, color. 3. Progressive characteristics, for example shelf life. 4. Nutritional characteristics. Preservatives. Preservatives can be defined as natural or synthetic chemicals that are added to food product to prevent or inhibit their decomposition by microbial growth, bacteria or fungi, or by undesirable chemical changes. 1. Food preservatives can be used alone or in conjunction with other methods of food preservatives, vacuum packing, dehydration. 2. Preservatives may be antimicrobial which inhibits the growth of bacteria and fungi. Example, calcium propionate, sodium nitrate etc. 3. Preservatives may be antioxidants such as oxygen absorber which inhibits the oxidation of food constituents. Example, BHA beta hydroxyl acid, and BHD, beta-lated hydroxytoluene. 4. Food preservatives may be natural substances such as salt, sugar, vinegar, citric acid, etc. used as traditional preservatives. According to Preservation of Food Adulteration Act laid down by Health and Family Welfare Department, the food preservatives are classified into Class 1 and Class 2 Class I preservatives. 1. They represent generally all natural kind of preservatives traditionally being used in food industry. 2. 
generally the use of class 1 preservative in any food is not restricted. Examples 1 Common salt. Used in pickles. Dehydrated fish. 2 Sugar. Used in jam, jelly etc. 3 Spices. 4 Vinegar or acetic acid. 5 Honey. 6 Edible vegetable oil. 7 Glucose, syrup. Class 2 Preservatives colon. They are generally chemical components like benzoic acid, sulfuric acid and their salts. Nitrates or nitrates of sodium or potassium, ascorbic acid and their salt etc. The law prohibits use of more than one class 2 preservatives at a time. In case they are to be used in combination they should not exceed the quantity or proportion prescribed by the law in part million. 1. Sulfur dioxide. Used in sausages, fruit pulp etc dry fruits, raisins, salt anise fruit juice and concentration. 2. Benzoic acid. Used in non-alcoholic wines, squashes crush, fruits syrup, cordial, barley water, jam, marmalade, preserved canned cherry, fruit jelly, tomatoes and other sauces. 3. Sodium or potassium nitrate. Salt pepper used in cooked pickled meat including ham and bacon. 4. Asorbic acid including its salts. Used in cheese or processed cheese, smoked fish, paneer fat spreads candied fruit prunes. Coloring agents. Coloring agent is coloring pigment in form of dye, pigment or substance that can impart color when added to a food substance. Colors are added to food to make them more attractive, since color determine to a great extent the appearance of the food. Color is at time added to affect color loss due to storage or processing of food and to correct the natural variations in food color. Coloring agents are classified as natural or artificial. Natural color, natural food colors originate from a wide range of sources like vegetables, fruits, plants, minerals and other edible natural sources. They impart color when added to food or drink. Natural food colors are preparations obtained from foods and other edible natural source materials obtained by physical and or chemical extraction resulting in a selective extraction of the pigments relative to the nutritive or aromatic constituents. They come in many forms consisting of liquids, powders, gels, and pastes. Food coloring is used both in commercial food production and in domestic cooking. Examples 1. Caramel that is used extensively in confectionery. 2. Anato or reddish yellow dye, made from plump around the seed of tropical tree, used to color butter, margarine and cheese. 3. Cochineal red color dye made from dried body of female cochineal insects. 4. Beet juice, turmeric, saffron, paprika used in food preparation artificial colors. Artificial colors are produced synthetically to dye and enhance most foods and beverages. Also known as certified colors. Artificial color additives must be approved by the FDA. They are used far more often than natural colors in the food industry, due to a lower cost, longer shelf life and higher reliability than natural dyes. Only seven straight synthetic colors are approved by the FDA to use in food, all associated with a number. Following are the base of artificial colors, metal oxide and dioxide, coal tar based dye, band in USA, artificial colors are very powerful coloring agent and if used in excess can be health hazard. The GOVT controls the permitted amount of color to be added, but roadside kebabs and jalebis contain more than permitted amount of these color compounds so a word of caution, all which looks good is not always good. Certified color additives are available in two forms, dyes, dissolve in water, are available in powder, granule, liquid form. Used in beverages, dry mixtures, baked goods, confectionery dairy products etc. Lakes, lakes are the mixtures of dyes and insoluble materials. They are oil dispersible. They are more stable than dyes and are ideal for coloring food product containing fats and oil or items lacking sufficient moisture. They are used in cake and dough mixes, hard candies, chewing gum etc. Local names, Brilliant Blue FCF, Yell 113, Blue, Fast Green, Allure Red and Sunset Yellow. Flavoring Agent 
food safety and standards, food products standards and food additives, regulations, 2011. Have described flavoring agents as flavor substances, flavor extracts or flavor preparations, which are capable of imparting flavoring properties, namely taste or odor or both to the food. Flavoring agent has very little or no nutritive value. Flavoring agents may be of following three types. 1. Natural flavors and natural flavoring substances. They are flavor preparations and single substance respectively, acceptable for human consumption, obtained exclusively by physical processes from vegetables, for human consumption. 2. Nature identical flavoring substances. They are substances chemically isolated from aromatic raw materials or obtained synthetically. They are chemically identical to substances present in natural products intended for human consumption, either processed or not. 3. Artificial flavoring substances. They are those substances which have not been identified in natural products intended for human consumption either processed or not. Flavor enhancer are other character of compound which help in improving the taste of food. Example message, monosodium glutamate, mag, monoammonium glutamate, are used to improve the taste of bland soup, stews and gravies. Essence that we get in market very often comprises of organic compound which have been synthesized in the laboratory. Example, vanilla essence, strawberry essence smoke essence etc malt extract is sugar extracted from malted grain it comes in two forms liquid or dry malt extract lme and dme respectively lme is a thick sugary syrup and dme is a dry powder malt extract is used in bakery product and confectionery product synthetic chemical are widely used more often in combination with natural flavoring to make the food tastier examples of natural flavorings 1. Herbs, spices, essences, extracts have been known to man for ages. 2. Bouquet garni, garam masala, whole, etc. Anti-caking agent. Anti-caking agent functions either by absorbing excess moisture or by coating the particles and making them water repellent, hence keeps the product away from forming lumps making it better for packaging transportation and also for the consumers. Example, 1 magnesium carbonate used in icing sugar. 2 sodium aluminosilylate used in egg preservation. 3 magnesium trisilicate used in oil. 4 betonese used in wine. Some anti-caking agent are soluble in water other are soluble in alcohol or other organic solvent. Anti-caking agent keeps powder such as milk powder, tea, coffee, sugar salt etc. flowing freely rather than sticking together in lumps. There are other products like non-dairy creamers and topping like Parmesan cheese that need to flow freely but coagulate in their natural form. Anti-caking agent are used to prevent this. Many anti-caking agent are natural product like betonese and other are manufactured like silicon dioxide, calcium silicate. Their action is only a physical one and not chemical. They are generally harmless a flat bland taste. Pumectant. Pumectants act as moisturizer by attracting water, they often prevent cream from drying out. Pumectants stabilize foods through moisture control. Pumectants are hygroscopic substance which absorb water from the air, hence frequently used to avoid desiccation. When used as a food additives the humectants has the effect of keeping the foodstuff moist. It is colorless and odorless. It is light and non-sticky. Pumectants are commonly found in following types, 1. Sugar and salt are the oldest and most widely used humectants. 2. Examples of other commonly used humectants include glycerin, honey, sugar alcohols, glucose syrup, egg yolk, egg white, molasses and alpha hydroxy acid such as lactic acid. Usage, sorbitol is used in delicate or sugarless food. Polydextrose and other humectants food additives used in sweet food, salad dressing etc. Glycerol is found to treat constipation. Sweetening agent. A sweetening agent or a sweetener is a food additive which adds the basic sweetness to a food. Artificial sweeteners are sugar substance. They are classified into two types. First type is natural sweeteners, 
As a name specifies these are sweetener having a natural source and are nutritive giving natural sweet that when being added only disadvantages it may result in disease like obesity, diabetes etc. Examples, sugar, it is derived from sugar cane, corn, beet, etc. It is widely used. Sugar alcohols, hydrogenated from carbohydrate, it is less sweeter than natural sugar used in candy and chewing gum, honey, it is derived from the nectar of flour. Honey is mainly fructose and glucose. Honey is used in cooking, baking spread on the bread, served with the bread and pancakes. Fruits, in form of fruit juice, fruit extract, jam jelly etc. used in sauces, as own or spreads etc. Various types of syrups, maple syrup, it is made from the sap of the maple tree. Used most often with pancake, waffles, French toast, cornbread, ice cream candy and bakery dessert. Golden syrup, it is a thick amber color inverted sugar syrup. That is sugar solution treated with acid. It is used in bakery products and desserts. Molasses colon it is a thick syrup that is a byproduct during processing of sugar cane. It is more used in bakery and also used in production of yeast. Second type is synthetic sweeteners. These are artificial sweeteners made chemically. Examples, one, Saccharin colon it is the main artificial sweetener. It is 300-500 times as sweeter as sucrose and has no energy value. But levels an unpleasant bitter aftertaste. It has limited use in food industry generally served with tea or coffee. 2. Cyclamate colon it is one tenth as sweet as saccharin but has no bitter aftertaste. They are safe on food but should be used in controlled quantity. It is used in diabetic food and served as a table accompaniment. 3. Aspartame. It is marketed under the name of Nutria Sweet or Equal. It is an unsaccharin sweetener. It is commonly used in soft drinks and table accompaniment as diabetic sugar. 4. Sucrose colon. It is marketed under the name of Scra Plus or Splenda. It is 600 times sweeter than table sugar. It is used in bakery products, candy, breakfast bars soft drinks and canned fruits. Sequestrant Sequestrant literally means to withdraw from use. Sequestrant can be defined as a class of food additives that are added to remove the traces of metal impurities which degrades the foodstuff by catalyzing the oxidation of fats present in the food. Metal contaminants such as copper iron and nickel can often be found in the food we eat. They usually come from the source like soil or the machinery used during harvesting and processing. These metallic in part catalyzes the oxidations of the fats present in the food, hence degrading the foodstuff. The sequestrant react with the trace metals in the food, forming tightly bounded complexes, thereby preventing the decomposition of the food. Example. Sodium and calcium salt said to as a common sequestrate used in making of food and beverage. Bleaching agent. A bleaching is a process or chemical that removes color or whitens often via oxidation. Flour bleaching agent is the agent added to fresh milled food grains to widen the flour by removing the yellow color pigment called xanthophyll by oxidation. It whitens the flour and this flour is used in baking industry. Bleached flour improves the gluten structure forming capacity, allowing the use of dough formulas with lower proportions of flour and higher proportions of sugar. Examples of bleaching agent are, 1. Calcium peroxide. Cal2EG932. Nitrogen dioxide, NO2, 3. Benzyl dioxide, BZ2O2, 4. Calcium dioxide, CO2, 5. Chlorine dioxide, ClO2. Thickeners. Thickeners or thickening agents are the substance which when added to an aqueous mixture increases its viscosity without substantially modifying its properties such as taste. It provides body, increases stability and improves suspension of added ingredients. Thickeners are often used as food additives and also in cosmetics and personal hygiene products. Thickeners are classified as 1. Starches like arrowroot, corn flour, 
potato starch, etc. 2. Vegetable gums like alani, gaur gum, xanthan gums, etc. 3. Proteins like agar, egg white, gelatin, collagen, etc. 4. Others like roux, blood, yogurt, glazes, cream, cereals, etc. Thickeners are generally used in the final stage of preparation. Thickeners like flour, roux, should be cooked and used as they won't impart raw flavor to the food. Thickeners generally tends to lose their thickening potency because of acidic mixture should be avoided. Catering uses colon 1, soups, sauces. 2, jam, jelly. 3, chewing gum and candies. 4, mousses. 5, confectionery and bakery. Nutrient Supplement a nutrient supplement or food supplement is a preparation intended to supply nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, fatty acid, or amino acid that are missing or are not consumed in sufficient quantity in a person's diet. A supplement can provide nutrients either extracted from food sources or synthetic, individually or in combination, in order to increase the quantity of their consumption. Some country defines dietary supplement as food which in other countries may be defined as drugs. Nutrient supplement are being given to 1. Growing children, pregnant women, vitamins and minerals deficient people so their requirement are fulfilled. 2. Patients for their faster recovery. 3. Athletes or bodybuilders for their extra requirement of protein or vitamins etc. 4. Weight loss programs also take nutrient supplement for supply of nutrients. Examples, soy protein is the most popular nutritive supplement in form of soy milk, powder etc., iodine and common salt. Whole food multivitamin extract like pomegranate extract orange extract cranberry or strawberry extract, apple extract etc., minerals and mineral and mineral water. Ascorbic acid for vitamins, in fruit juices. Tricalcium phosphate used as additive in milk powder sweet pudding, flavoring of meat. Nutritive enriched bread with vitamins and amino acid. Vitamins and minerals added to the cereals. Bread and biscuits with a fortification of thiamine, iron and calcium. Milk which is low in vitamin D is fortified with it. Margarine is fortified with vitamin A and D for butter substitution. Thank you and wish you all the best.